Kay Newhouse. And I'm Matt Smith. We taught a slow styling level two workshop on Friday um, where we were working on doing the kinds of things which make your dancing smooth and flowing when the music is slow. It's great for that late night vibe, but also some technique things that will work to make your dancing more smooth and coherent no matter the speed of the music. We started with an exercise that we did individually where we walked to the music. We started out walking, doing triple steps to a slow song, then we moved just to slow, slow rhythm. That's what we normally dance to. Then we stretched our beats out. We did extra slow, extra st slow steps. And we went to even farther spaced apart. We recommend you guys practice that one at home to space your movement out across the music. We also, as we did that exercise, added in one where we went quick, 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 quick to the song as well, because that is another tool we use when the music gets slow. After that, we moved into doing a couple of applications of this. Um, we had noticed as we did that opening exercise that one of the things you can play with when the music is slow is your weight transitions, how quickly you move your weight over your foot. So we did a variation for the followers where on the one, two of a pattern, we kept our weight back and didn't transition as soon. Although you need to transition by the time you get to a turn, which is usually right after two. So we did this on a sugar push first. We went one, two, three, and four. We'll show you again. So one, two, three, and four. We also did that on an underarm turn because that helps the followers to understand about getting your weight over your foot. So one, two, over my foot before I do the turn. We practiced that exercise with a coin between our fingers. That was partly so that as a follower, I couldn't use this motion as an excuse to pull on my partner to move my weight forward. With the coin there, we were really practicing moving our own weight. We also learned that if you want to keep that coin there, both leader and follower have to pay really strong attention to your partner. Wouldn't that be cool to do all the time when you're dancing? After that, we moved into a whip variation, which was like this. We did what? I'm sorry, let me count it slow, slow, like this. Slow, slow, extra slow, 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 extra slow. So we used our extra slow rhythm to replace our triples. One more time. Let's do it from the other side. Slow, slow, extra slow, 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 extra slow. Then we did another whip variation where we used the quick, quick time. Slow, slow, quick, 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 anchor step. So that one used the, our third timing. We had one more that we didn't get to, which I told you I'd do it as a bonus. Is this one. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. This is a quick weight transition, so I go over my foot sooner. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. I'm Kay Newhouse. And I'm Matt Smith. K-A-Y-W-C-S dot com. Come back to DC and visit us again sometime. Bye. Dance Jam Productions.